Hello folks, uh, Donnie Barger here again with Donnie Barger's Guitar Repair Service. Uh, this is a second video we've done. It's the perfect time of the year. Uh, it's closing in, starting winter time, it's getting cold. And uh, when cold starts, then we start heating our houses up. And uh, we know that uh, around here in the summertime, we don't have to worry too much about humidity. So I had, a, had one of my good friends say, uh, asked for some I asked for some subjects to cover on the videos and they said uh, man it'd be a good idea to tell about the humidity and lack of humidity and the damage done to guitars especially a you know your so, uh, solid wood acoustic guitars uh, with the lack of humidity so I'll talk about that make this as brief as I can cover a subject or two or a, two or three products but the main thing to consider is this time of year the humidity where we live here in the southeast drops down inside sometimes 30 30 percent 20 percent in if you heat with a wood stove or whatever but uh you want to keep your the main thing is you want to keep your humidity between 45 and 55 percent in the room that you're uh storing your guitars or your heavy guitars sit out and if you keep them in the case which is ideal uh, you want to have a means to uh, keep that about 50 or uh, 45 55 percent so what you how do you know how it's how, how you got a temperature you got a thermometer that tells you what the temperature is but you can get these little things it's called a hygrometer and you can get them very they're very inexpensive you can get them on ebay and uh used to get i think i got this from, from radio shack for 15 bucks or, or whatnot and it gives you the relative humidity and you can you can uh, set it in your room or you can actually keep it in your case now be aware that these things have batteries in them and sometimes if you keep a, a battery operated device in a guitar case be aware that there's possibility that sometimes batteries leak and whatnot so you want to make sure you don't leave it in for a long period of time but you want to maintain about 45 to 50 percent so how do you know that your guitar might be drying out there's a couple of different things and i get a lot of this during the, in my repair shop in the winter time uh if you notice that these these they call them bloomers blooms they bloom and uh the edge of the frets become real sharp and you can feel it and it doesn't it's not like the frets grow or form those things what happens is the wood shrinks but this metal will not shrink and when that metal is stays where it was and the wood shrinks then it forms little sharp edges on there and, and I, I take it down with a file and all that and uh, but you need if if you sense that you can literally i've done this before case the guitar put the proper humidity check it three or four days and magically these these uh these frets are smooth again that's uh what happens is the wood sh swells You'd be surprised what an acoustic solid wood guitar will do when it really dries out. I've seen them crack so badly that the, the top will sink in. That's another thing you during the, the winter time, a lot of times the, I get a lot of get, people say, well, my action's too low. It's actually the reason for that is as the top shrinks, the bridge sinks down and the strings go down as well and you got to keep these things uh, give them a drink you know keep them keep them humidified properly uh now what you want to make sure is, uh, what really causes the cracks not so much is the dryness is but it's the the sudden changes i have people you know they have guitars that are properly humidified and they come in and take it out set it down next to the fireplace and you know it looks pretty and everything but all of a sudden it starts cracking this it's the sudden changes from from normal to to to, to low of humidity that'll crack those things and uh, like i say you want to get you get your hygrometer now the way to, to to humidify these guitars you can if you got a big room you can buy humidifiers at uh, whatever the department stores or lowe's or, or home depot whatever and and they work real well to do to humidify the whole room if you've got several that set out but what you want to do if you got an individual guitar is you want to there's two, two or three different things here it's, it's, this thing's called a lifeguard it's a, a, call it a lifeguard these are uh, human 
Humatrons or something, uh, you can buy them at your local music store. They'll, they'll sell them this time of year. And I get mine at uh, Main Stage Music over in Dayton, Tennessee, or Merlin's Music World of Maryland is where I deal with mainly. And uh, I'll show you how these work. And uh, the one I use a lot is uh, this one right here. Hold on. On an acoustic guitar, you got the sound hole. These these tend to work really well. And what you do is got a sponge in there, and you you soak this and get it wet. And you you take a paper towel. Make sure you do that because you don't want to put water in there. Got a little place cut out there, and it's made to slide into. Debbie's going to get it real close up here. Just slide it right in the sound hole, and snap it in. And you can put this in your case, and it humidifies the guitar from within. Believe it or not, I have guitars that have cracked tops, and you can't squeeze them together based on the fact that you can't squeeze these together to fix these. I have literally humidified the guitar enough to close those cracks up and then cleat it, glue it up, and it works well. That's a trick for all the guys who are uh, doing what I do. You know, I thought I'd pass that along. Most people won't do that to bring it here. But this is called the uh, Lifeguard, and that works really well to put in a sound hole. And uh, let me uh, set this aside. Hold on a second. Now, the guitars I use on my work, as my working guitars, I use, and a lot of people do this, we have a sound hole pickup. So that obviously won't fit in the sound hole. So what I use are these little devices. It's a, it's a thin rubber hose with a lot of holes in it. And it's, once again, it's a little sponge in there and you soak it, wet it, and you drop it down in there and you put it in your case and it keeps, it lets off the uh, humidity quite a bit. So that's, that's another uh, way of doing it. Uh, and then they make this, it's pretty cool because if you play a mandolin uh, or a violin, this one won't fit. These are made just for the violin, violin excuse me, and they go in and they do the same thing, put them in the case. In fact, I'm going to leave that in there. And just like I say, make sure you don't put it to where it'll drench the, the inside of the guitar. And I think that's called the Damp It. It's called the Damp It. Uh, Herco makes one that's really neat. It's a little uh, device. It's a, in a little plastic cup, and it's real dense clay, and you soak it in water and dry it out again a little bit and then put it in the case. You don't put it in the guitar. And that was called the Guard Father. Guard Father. I think that's a pretty cool name. The fact is, last time I ordered one, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> no fun there. Anyway, uh, humidity, this time of year is critical between, uh, you know, depends on what part of the country you, you live in. Uh, some parts of the country, they need them year round. The Southwest is very dry. But uh, this time of year, and, and speaking in, in the Eastern United States, uh, Make sure you keep the humidity as, as close to 45 to 55% as you can. And uh, I just, uh, I think that's about all that, that I have. If uh, you, I'll, I'll put this on my uh, Donnie Barber's Guitar Facebook repair page, and uh, you can view it there. If you have any suggestions, just um, subjects, just uh, type it in, and, and I'll try to get to that. And until next time, straight ahead.